All right, so we are all set to go here to the new park that I just found out about on Google. And I brought my tools. We have the M1P all loaded up with the H5 scooter and some other accessories just in case I need them. So let's go ahead and check out this park and have some fun. Alrighty, we made it here to this new park. So we went ahead and unloaded already everything out of the trailer uh, today. We are doing the full review of the Eora Emars M1P. One of the best looking electric scooters in the market. This is something that we cannot deny. So to give you a little recap on this scooter, this is a 60 volt, 35 amp hour scooter, at least the battery. It has 1800 watt hours. It comes with 12 inch tires. On the back we have a 2000 watt motor made by a company called QS. On the front, we just have a regular 12 inch tire. It has front headlights with turn signals as well. Let me give you here a little quick tutorial. We get here the hazard lights. We can see it comes with rear view mirrors. We get hydraulic brakes on the front and hydraulic brakes on the back. If you guys saw my unboxing video, I told you that I uh, had a little damage here with the foot peg. I was able to fix it with epoxy. So far it's holding well. It was definitely great news. This uh, bike has a maximum range of 45 miles. That's an echo mode and depending on your weight and terrain of course. It has three different speed modes. One, two and three with a maximum speed of 37 miles an hour. However, I was able to go 40 miles an hour. So we're gonna be seeing that here in just a second. The back has a mount already for a license plate. This can be registered, but now since it doesn't come with a VIN number, we have to register it as a custom made vehicle here in Florida. I already started the process and once I get it registered, of course, I'll keep you guys updated with this. It comes with an odometer, speedometer. We can see right here the battery voltage. We get a battery indicator right below it. Over here we get the miles per hour together with the gear or the speed that it is on. So it comes with three different speeds as I said before. You have the odometer, I have only 17 miles on it. We get a phone mount as well. So now it is time to show you how to use it and continue here the adventure guys. Starting here with the key fob, we have a couple of different options. We get the lock, we get the unlock, then we get the panic mode. And finally, you can start the scooter by clicking here on this uh, lower button. If you press it twice, you don't need the key to get it started. Now to turn it off using the key fob, you press the unlock key and that will shut it down. Very easy to do. The other option we have is using the key. You flick the key to the right and right here, you guys can see everything we have available. And something that I had curiosity on, at least on the speeds, is that when you turn it on, it gives you an option for number four. So I'm assuming this thing is definitely uh, uh, restricted so that it can be legalized but I'm pretty sure this scooter can go faster now that's for a separate video um, so like I said here we have the phone mount uh, we have the high beams and the low beams button right now I have it on low beams this is the hazard light on top we get the turn signals right here and the turn signals uh, they work great we get the horn as well let's turn on the bike here 
very loud. It sounds like a like a four-cylinder vehicle horn. On the right side here, we have the headlights on, headlights off, and this is your speed selector. We get the throttle, the rear view mirrors, as you guys can appreciate right here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So now something I want to remind you guys about is that if you turn on your scooter and it doesn't go, it's because most likely you had the kickstand on. This is an electronic kickstand. So you have to um, put it back in so that you can uh, start riding the scooter. Uh, with this being said, guys, let's go ahead and do a couple of tests. We're going to do a speed test, acceleration test, and a lot more tests. So that way uh, we can see if this thing is worth it or not. Okay, so here we are approaching now the, uh, the road and hopefully you guys are not listening to all this wind noise. I just bought the media mod for my GoPro Hero 10. Uh, so I hope it was worth it. Anyways, this is right now gear one. So in three, two, one, let's go and see how fast we can get it to go. My phone is telling me 21. 22, 24, let's try now gear two. All right, gear two. Saying 29, 30, and gear three. The bike's speedometer is giving me 38, but the phone is telling me 34 right now. According here to my phone speedometer, we got it all the way up to 36, 37, I believe. Uh, that was on gear three. So gear one would give you approximately like 25 miles an hour. Uh, gear two will take you to 30 miles an hour to 31 approximately. And then finally gear three took me to the whole 37 miles an hour. Our next test here will be an acceleration test. This will tell us how fast it can go from zero to the maximum speed. For this, I will leave it on gear three. And in three, two, one, here we go. This thing is, this thing is crazy fun, guys. I don't know why it feels like I'm going a whole lot faster than I actually am. There we go, we just did 37, 38 miles an hour. 39, we got it to 40 miles an hour. Check that out. Whoa. It did 40 miles. All right, so it has been posted here on the screen. So that way you guys can see how long it took from zero to 40. I am impressed. I didn't know this thing was able to go up to 40. And I'm 225 pounds, guys. I am not a light rider whatsoever. I think I just found the steepest hill here in Florida. And that's because this used to be, as I said before, a landfill. And so now it is covered in grass and uh, we're gonna test the bike on gear three and see how well it handles it. So I'm 225 pounds and uh, here we go. We're doing nine, 11, 14, 16, 20, 22, 23, 25, 27 woo, 27 miles an hour in this hill guys and I mean it it is a hill look right in front of me you can see that the field is definitely not at my level this is the biggest hill again that I can test this bike on and it did amazing 225 pounds like I was nothing 
So this is what the headlights look like and if I turn them off here you can see how dark it is so it makes a dramatic difference. I had to um, adjust them uh, out of the box they come a little bit too low I don't know if it is because of the shipping uh, you know the uh, shipping company as they transport it maybe they get moved around a little bit uh, these are the high beams high beams are great in my opinion check that out this is a very dark road and you can tell the difference immediately with the high beams so with the lights I don't have any complaints these are the turn signals they're very nice and uh, visible so here we have a nighttime view of the lights on the EMARS M1P you can tell they are quite bright all the way around check this out it even comes with tag light on the back super bright and of course we have as I said before the turn signals which is about the same as the hazard lights I turned both of them on so that way you can see but they look like at nighttime What I love the most about riding the scooter is the acceleration. Acceleration is out of this world. Super sensitive, takes off almost immediately. Sometimes I would say almost too sensitive. I also like the lights. The horn is a little bit funny when you start hearing it over and over. So I don't use it too much, but hey, it is there just in case you need it. Very stable ride. It doesn't feel like it wants to knock you down like I have experience with other motorcycles. Make sure that your tire pressure is also at what it's supposed to be. I can't wait to see uh, how soon I can get this legalized so that I can start using it for work. At 40 miles an hour, top speed, I can make it work easy and be at par with other vehicles out there. As per the range test, I haven't been able to test it out yet completely. Let's go on mode three here. Very, very smooth ride, guys. I wish more bikes were this stable. Something that you guys also need to do is adjust the, uh, the handlebars, the brackets. Make sure those are really, really tight. Because the handlebars at times, they like to move a little. And it makes you nervous. Well, that is it for today's review on the Aurora Emars M1P. An amazing bike for everyday use. This could be for fun, it could be for commuting. It is an overall great build bike. Of course, in a couple of weeks, maybe a month or so, I will give you guys an update on how this is holding up. The only thing I didn't like about this bike, and it's truly the only thing, is the battery compartment lid it feels a little cheap so I hope that in the future they can either improve that or maybe come up with a bigger battery that can give us a better range 
for the heavier set people like myself I'm 225 pounds but so far this bike has been handling great nothing has broken as I said before I did fix here the foot peg until I can get a replacement foot peg from the company amazing bike truly impressed super quiet plenty of speed and overall I'm very satisfied with this being said let me know down below what you guys think if there's anything in particular you would like me to cover on the next video thank you for watching subscribe for more click on the bell icon and I'll see you on my next one